Hey everyone, this is Andrew Tai. Welcome to my YouTube channel. So have you ever used WhatsApp on an iPhone and when you're in a chat and you try to press the camera button, then the camera comes up. So you want to be able to take a photograph of an object. And if you go ahead and press the button to take a photograph, then it doesn't work. So today I'm going to show you a workaround on how to actually send photographs through WhatsApp so you can work around this particular issue. Because that's quite annoying. If you double tap, it's going to flip the screen around and uh, it's very annoying because you want to be able to send a photograph quickly through WhatsApp. So today I'm going to show you a workaround on how to get this to work. So if you haven't subscribed already, then please consider subscribing and you'll be able to keep up to date with the latest tech tutorials. So the simple, easy workaround for this is to use the hardware button. So on iPhones, I've got my case here, but you can use the volume up and volume down button when you take a camera photograph and that will allow you to use a hardware button instead of this button, which currently isn't working in the current version of WhatsApp occasionally. So for example, here I'm gonna take a photograph of my DualShock controller. I'm gonna press the volume up button and then now I can go ahead and send this. So I can press the send button. And now that photograph has been sent through. So it means that I can use the volume button as a workaround instead of the software button. And that's going to work most of the time. The other way to fix this as well is if we close the WhatsApp application entirely. So if you're using like an iPhone mini or an iPhone 12, 13, 14, etc., you just swipe up like this. And you can manually close WhatsApp by swiping up and that'll close the application. And then what we're gonna do is to open up WhatsApp and then start it up from scratch. And we're back into my chat, I can press the camera button. And then if I press the software button again to take a photo, that's just now gonna work again properly. So it's a case of restarting WhatsApp and then that's going to work correctly. And of course, you can always use the camera app and then use the photograph button here and then go back into WhatsApp and then press the plus button and then press photo and video library. And then we can use the photograph that we just took and then we can press the send button here and that's gonna send the correct photograph through the WhatsApp chat. So now anyway, I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please like, please subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.